Hey everyone, and welcome back to a 1.16 Minecraft tutorial video. If you've been watching our Vanilla Plus series, then you know that on our custom server, it's possible to achieve certain titles and ranks based on achievements that you can accomplish in the game. Now, while our server is a modded one, I've had several requests from people asking me how to do this on their own vanilla servers. So I thought I'd make a video detailing how it can be done for vanilla uh, Minecraft 1.16. Um, so if you take a look here, I have a couple signs behind me uh, that you can see have titles on them and requirements on them. So what exactly does a title do, and how does it work in Minecraft? Well, there is actually a slash title command that you can type in, but this isn't what we're going to play around with. Uh, that command actually deals with subtitles and text display on your Minecraft screen, which isn't a way to give people a fancy title in the game. Uh, instead, we're using a feature of the slash team command. Um, that allows players to have custom prefixes, suffixes, and colors attached to their username. By using slash team in Minecraft, you can do various things like set up teams, remove players from them, add players to them, and list all the teams that you've created. For example, if I type slash team here, you can see we can add a team, empty a team, join, leave, all that kind of stuff. Uh, for our purposes, we're just going to be focused on creating teams and then modifying their variables to give players custom titles. Uh, titles being things that you can see before your name, uh, when you type in chat, that kind of stuff. So if you see if I type right now, it's just my normal name, because I don't have any titles. For example, you'll notice that this sign right here actually has the Flamio title on it, and it says Requirement into Fire. You'll notice that if I press L to look at my advancements, we'll go over to the nether tree right here, I don't actually have the Into Fire advancement, Relieve a Blaze if it's Blaze Rod. So if I try and right click on this sign here, You'll notice that my name hasn't changed. If I type hi, nothing's changed. I didn't get this Flamio title that I was promised. Uh, however, if I give myself a blaze rod, which will activate the achievement, like so, you now see I have the Into Fire advancement. And now if I right click on the very same sign, you'll see when I press tab, my name has changed. And when I type, I now have the Flamio title before my name, and it's a nice orangey gold color. So how do we set one of these systems up? Well, the very first thing you're going to want to do is create a new team to modify its variables so we can kind of make this cool title that you can see I have before my name. I'll make a team for testing purposes that gives a player a title for picking up a diamond for their very first time. So I'll type in slash team, add, and then whatever we want to call our team. So in a reference to diamond, we'll just call this team shiny for now. And then if we were going to display our team name anywhere, for example, on the right side of our screen or in like a kill feed or something, we could give it a fancy display name by adding two quotation marks here and call it something like very shiny team. So whenever this was displayed anywhere, uh, you would see very shiny team instead of just our little code name shiny right there. But we're not worried about displaying the team, so we can just actually stick with team add and shiny as what we're going to call it. So I'll hit enter and you can now see that we have a team created called shiny. From here, we can now modify things like the player suffix, the prefix, and even color, which you've seen on my name. So if I type in slash team modify, uh, and then the name of the team we just created, which is shiny in this case, you can see that a whole bunch of different options pop up. We have things like color, prefix, name tag visibility, friendly fire. Now a lot of these actually have to do with PVP settings and hardcore settings. So we're really just gonna be sticking to color, prefix, and suffix. You can mess around with the other commands, but they really don't have anything to do with titles. For our purposes, let's start setting up a color for our shiny team. If we're gonna stick with the diamond theme here, I think if we type color, you can see that it will show you all of Minecraft's colors uh, that it can list, which is actually not that many. So if you're gonna make a whole bunch of different teams, consider how you wanna organize them by color, because I think it's maybe 16 colors that Minecraft recognizes. So to stick with the diamonds, Let's give it the aqua color. So if I hit enter, you now see that the color for team shiny has been changed to aqua and you get this nice little shiny blue color. Now to test to make sure that this is actually working, what you can do is type slash team, join uh, the name of our team and then your username. In my case, Mudkip Ninja 56 So I will now join the shiny team and you can see that my name is already that nice aqua blue. And if I type hey again in chat, there it is once more. Now, we want to give the players a title as well. We don't just want to change the color of their name for doing something like picking up a diamond in the game. Bouncing off the diamond idea some more, let's give them the prefix of Super Shiny. Kind of like how I had the Flamio prefix on my previous name. So once again, if we type slash team modify and then shiny, 
This time we're going to go for the prefix command right there. So once you type prefix, you can type space, and then you're going to want to add two more quotation marks. This is because you're putting in a string here and you want it to recognize anything in these quotation marks as a prefix for your team. So let's type super shiny. Anything that gets typed in these quotation marks will be displayed before your name. So what we want to make sure we do is add a little space right after shiny, otherwise it'll just roll right into your username and there won't be a space between it. So we type slash team modify shiny, we'll add the prefix of super shiny to the team and add a little space after that. Uh, and then we can press enter. Now you can see team prefix has been set to super shiny. So if we hit tab, you can actually see my new name is super shiny mudkip ninja 56 and it holds up <laughs> in chat as well. So you can see that whenever you chat on the server now, your name will be whatever title you have in this case, super shiny. So this all works great. But how do we set up challenge signs so players need a certain advancement in order to receive a title? Well, for this, we actually want to head over to a website called Minecraft.tools, and I'll leave the link in the description for this. This is a really cool website that allows you to set up a whole bunch of different command generations and other features that are actually quite difficult to do in the base game that you can just do by typing in a few strings of text on the website. So if we navigate over to the Minecraft custom sign uh, portion of the website, you can see that I already have a little uh, sign with a couple of pre-built parameters already set in. If you left click on the sign right here, this is what people will see once the sign is placed down in Minecraft, and you can edit it however you like. If I wanted to change this to be something else, I could say hey. Um, you can give things different colors. You can actually make different parts of a line different colors by using the color wheel. You can see that we can actually obfuscate the text, which means once you get into Minecraft, it does that weird rolling text thing where it spins through a whole bunch of different characters. You can make text italic, bold, underline. You can have parameters in the sign, such as at P, things like that, which is all super cool. But we'll keep our sign pretty simple for now. We're just going to say that the title, to fit with our other signs in the game, will be super shiny. And we'll add a little space after that. And this is just so people can see what their name is going to look like after they've picked this title and gotten the advancement. Remember, just because you can change the sign any way you want here, if you put characters in this sign that Minecraft doesn't recognize, the game won't magically insert them once we put this sign into the world. So keep that in mind that you still want to put only characters that Minecraft knows what they are. Now, we want the requirement of this title to be the normal Minecraft advancement uh, diamonds, which I believe is diamonds with an exclamation mark. This is the advancement you get for when a player picks up a diamond. So that's what we want our sign to look like once it's placed down in the world. Uh, now you can actually edit what type of sign it is. I've set it to be dark oak, but you can set it to be whatever you want. You don't have to set a sign name, but this can come in handy when you have a bunch of signs and a bunch of different commands that you want to set up. Uh, so I'm just going to name my sign the shiny title, like this. So I'll remember that this sign, shiny title, has to do with our diamond uh, name. But you don't need this if you just want to do a couple signs. Finally, the most important part, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky, is the command you actually want the sign to run once a player right clicks on it. So you can see that I already have a little bit of a pre-built uh, command in here, so I can just walk you guys through how I came up with this. So at first we want to type execute. Now if you're not familiar with the execute command, it's a command in Minecraft that forces a command block, a sign, or other devices in Minecraft to force run a command based on certain parameters. For example, here we're going to be using the execute if to check if a player has completed a certain advancement. If you want to look more into the execute command, there's some pretty good documentation on the Minecraft wiki itself, so I recommend giving that a read. But for our signs purposes, just know you need to type execute if an entity, that's who we're checking right now, and the entity being the nearest player, which is at P. And then what we actually want to do is check their advancements. So we want to write this little square bracket right here. And the parameter we're checking is if their advancements are equal to, and then a whole string of advancements. So, so far, you can write all of this. And this is the only part where it might be different on your command, depending on what advancements you want to look up. So make sure you write these curly brackets, just like this, after advancements equals. And within these curly brackets, you could actually put multiple advancements. As you can see, I have the baseline for one advancement here. But if I wanted to, I could actually make multiple advancements um, by putting a little comma right here and setting up another set of curly brackets, which would actually only run a command if a player had reached a certain number of advancements. 
uh, but we're gonna stick simple and keep just one advancement for now. So the next part is the trickiest part and requires you to actually do a little bit of digging. We need to put the actual path to the advancement you want for in these curly brackets. And if you don't know what it is, I suggest going back into Minecraft and type slash advancement grant your username only and then you see a whole list of every advancement in your game will pop up. This can be a little hard to sift through, but if you know which tab your advancement is under, like the nether tab or end tab, you can add uh, right here, minecraft colon nether, which will just show you all of the advancements in the nether tab of the advancement tree. For us, we're looking for the diamonds advancement, which is in the main story tree of Minecraft. So if we type minecraft colon story, these are all of the main Minecraft advancements on that first advancement page when you hit L. So if we look down, we can see that the actual advancement of the diamonds is called Minecraft colon story forward slash mine underscore diamonds. So this is the string that we want right here. So we just need to put that in the brackets here. As you can see, I've already set up Minecraft colon story, and we know that the advancement is called mine underscore diamond, just like that. And now you want to make sure that you're checking if the advancement is true. This means the player has completed the advancement. Technically, you could also put false here if you wanted to run a command if a player hasn't achieved something yet, but that's not what we're trying to aim for. So we have our whole command so far, which is just we want to execute a command if a player has achieved the mine diamond advancement. The last part of the command right here is actually telling the sign what command you want it to physically run once you right click on it. So we use the run tag right here to indicate that we're ready to run a command. And then the command that we actually want it to run is team join, and then the name of your team, which in my case is shiny, and then who you want to join. In this case, we want the nearest player. So we type at P. Then all you have to do is hit generate command. What that'll do is actually give you a nice little copy and paste text section down here, where you can copy this text and bring it into Minecraft. So that command that we generated is actually the command to give the player the sign they need uh, to be able to put down. So usually the command is too long to actually put in the Minecraft chat. So what you want to do is copy it from the website, come over to a command block right here, and you can just paste it directly in. Now when I press this button, all it's going to do is give us that generated sign that we created on the website. And as you can see, here it is. And I named it shiny title, so this sign is now called shiny title. All that's left for us to do is put it in a place where we want players to be able to see it. So I think I'll put it over here. And now you can see we have title, super shiny, requirement, diamonds. Now that it's all set up, you can see that if I right click on this sign and hold tab, I have not been added to the super shiny team. That's because I don't have that advancement unlocked. If we go back to our advancement tree, you can see that I haven't actually picked up a diamond yet. So right clicking on the sign still won't do anything. However, just like before with the blaze rod, if I pick up a diamond to achieve the advancement, and then I right click on the sign, you can see that I've been successfully added to the super shiny team. So that's a pretty quick and easy way of adding titles into Minecraft for base advancements. But what if you want players to achieve custom advancements and still get titles from it? Well, that follows largely the same path. The only difference is you need to provide your custom advancement path in the website. If you look over here, I actually have a whole bunch of different custom advancements on this server. If I press L, uh, I have this whole brand new tree called a brand new world where I created all of these advancements, put them in a data pack, and that's why they're in Minecraft. So if you come over here, for example, the backpacker advancement, uh, you can only get if you have the storage galorage one, which is something that I created right here, where you have to slay a ravager and use its hide to create a backpack. You can do this in the exact same way that we set up the diamond one over there. The only difference is when you go to the website to type in the actual directory of the advancement, you want to put your custom directory, whatever that is in your data pack. For example, if I type slash advancement grant myself only, once again, I named the data pack brand new world colon, and you can see here are all of the custom advancements that I've added into the game. So if I type backpack, there you go. There is the custom pathing for my advancement titled backpack. So if I set that up on the sign on the website, like I've done over here, right-clicking this would give me the backpacker title if I've completed the storage galorage advancement. 
Now before someone says it, yes, this server does include mods on it, but trust me, this is a tried and tested method both in vanilla and in the most recent version of Minecraft mods, which is 1.16. So, if you're looking for a way to spice up your server by giving your players titles for completing certain challenges, this is the perfect way to do it. Remember to like and subscribe for more Minecraft tutorial and adventure-related content, and I'll see you guys next time!